Hello Equestrians and welcome back to my channel. I'm joined with a very special guest today. This is Louise. I will leave her Instagram handle down below and we are currently at Gillico Country Store um, but we've got a very special vlog planned today. I may or may not be riding one of Louise's horses today. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and get into the video. Oh, oh, look at the shiny. Oh. That's lush. That is a bit nice. I've got that in pink, in hot pink. Oh. And they've got the matching ears and the little bling. Yeah, they don't fit mine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's an upstairs. <laughs> this is huge. It's awesome. It's very dangerous. Look at the mannequin. <laughs> I hope that's not foretelling of what's going to happen to me later. That's me, yesterday. <laughs> she invites me to ride her horse and then tells me that she fell off of her yesterday. <laughs> First time in five years. It's only second time I've fallen off her since I've owned her. I mean, I mean that's pretty good going to be fair. It's not bad going, is it? But yeah, typically the day before someone else is riding her, she dumps me. <laughs> I would rather stay in the saddle today if possible. Yeah, you will, time. <laughs> I've had a word. When I did the walk of shame back down the drive, I was like, for God's sake, mate, not tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we're going upstairs. going upstairs. Be safe, be seen, guys. Absolutely. With all the high vis. Green brushing boots, they're cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cute. This. Oh, I like that. That's very cute. That would look very cute, isn't it? <laughs> what have you seen? Why do they not do this in like oh. sizes? <laughs> I'm such a child. That's was, really cute. When I was a kid, you didn't have this sort of thing. Yeah. They're boring stuff when I was a kid. My mum always says I'm really in my stomach. <laughs> in each saddle, is it? What does it say? <laughs> it says one size. Mm. But yeah, that is not fitting over an 18 inch extra extra wide saddle. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It is really cute. I do like that. I love the colours. It's a ride on one as well, guys. It's got the little slits. There. Yeah. But look at the little like detail, the little embroidery on there. Oh, so cute. This is all Gillet and Cook's own brand. Yes, Royal Collection. Wow. Royal well. Literally got loads. Really good value. Wow. Mm. So because Louise fell off yesterday, she has been sensible and getting a new hat, which we love because that is what you should do. How many people actually do though? Go for a navy. Yeah. So the lovely Maria is fitting it for me. It's hiding behind She's me. hiding behind you, yeah. Thought that might happen. <laughs> it feels like it's quite low on my ears. It feels like it's very like... deep hat in the daycare. Oh, okay. That's good. How's that feel? It feels alright actually. It doesn't even feel quite as gappy at the back as my gatehouse did. No? We always used to have to pad that, didn't we? Yeah. It's definitely a time to fit for you. It doesn't feel. It's a nice colour. <laughs> I think that looks quite nice with my pocket. I think that's alright actually. Good fit. Yeah. I've never had a hat fit that easy. <laughs> Thank you, champion. <laughs> How nice would they be for like Christmas? They are so cool, aren't they? They're very pretty. Again, they won't fit on home. <laughs> I was just dyeing up this. Uh, I like this holographic whip. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. It's stunning, isn't it? Oh, oh and like a rose gold look. Yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. I oh, know. I really like that. I don't really need another whip, but it's very pretty. It is really pretty. <laughs> Getting the good, good Bells old bed the, down. The bells are about the same size as Maria. That's high tism. High tism. It's hiding from the camera. Da 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 da. Look at that. Thank you, my <laughs> We are off to Lou 
finish yours now. Well, we're probably nearly there by now. <laughs> um, going not far. <laughs> going to see her horsies. Do you want to tell them a little bit about your girls? Yeah, so I've got two. I've got May, who is a 10-year-old Clydesdale mare, and I've bought her as a newly backed four-year-old, so I've had her six years. Um, she's the one I fell off, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> for the second time in six years. Um, and then Golly is a seven-year-old Shire mare, and I've had her since she was six months old. And she was actually bred by my best friend, so I've known her since she was a fetus, basically. Aww. And I've ridden her mum, and I've groomed for her mum at Hoys, and yeah, so she is really, really special. They're both special, but obviously yeah. Golly's really special. Um, so yeah, those are the girlies. Before them, I had Blaze. She was the one that started the, the Shire journey. <laughs> the heavies uh, obsession. Yeah, the obsession with the heavies. <laughs> so yes, those are the ponios, and we will meet, and we're going to have a little play with both of them today. Ray's going to ride May, and then I think we might have a little long rain with Golly. Oh, that sounds good. We we'll set up a little obstacle course in the school. Oh, oh. Is she backed? She is backed, but she's been out of work with... Um, oh gosh, I see what you mean about this lane now. Yeah, we just <laughs> met a car the other way. Um, yeah, she had a few lameness issues and she's she's sound, but she's still like not back in full ridden work. So we're right. still doing like a lot of long reining and like rehabbing type stuff. So yeah, but she loves her long reining, so I thought we'll have a little, little play with that. Exciting! <laughs> so we're now at the yard. Welcome to Say Well Farm. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'm gonna get copyright struck for that probably. <laughs> yeah, not with my bad singing you are. Okay. Who's the on the yard? Ah, uh, so she's an old girl now. She's like 18, I think. But... <laughs> hey, Bonbon. Bon. Look at these nice big stables for the big girls and the wrapper absorb. It looks really clean though, considering yeah. you. Yeah, no, that hasn't had any wet taken out of it in about two weeks. That's so. amazing, isn't it? Just the pose. We found some ponies. Hey, girlies. Well, they're rather oversized ponies. Yeah, <laughs> they're cool ponies, though. <laughs> I think any equine is just a pony. Yeah. Ponies! Hello! Well, he's lurking in the background. He's <laughs> told off by me. Oh. <laughs> Hi, girlies. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hello, I got a pony. She's like, I want to eat all of the goodies in the hedge. I find it quite fascinating actually watching what they pick out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what are you gonna record my reaction to how filthy a pony? Yeah. I'm putting I'm putting Ray to work. She's she's grooming one of the ponies and she's got the dirty one. I had I'll put a rug on it, come on. You put a rug on you didn't put a rug on a dirty horse, did you? Um, maybe. No, it's not that bad. Oh, what are you on about? She's not bad. No, you want to see her in winter when she's out naked. Oh, yeah. Then it's an absolute <laughs> hippo. Oh, wow. Oh, she will love you. You'll be her best friend, right? Honestly. This is what kept just nicely to scratch her. Oh, you're really molting. Oh, well, you get, I get back two weeks a year, where's that one doesn't molt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eat, 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 and that's She's like, yeah, mum just gives me a quick flick over my brush. I like you. <laughs> She's like, you can come again. Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> She'll try and groom me back as well. But it'll be your face. She might groom your face with your head. You're a little weird, though, aren't you? Well, guys? that's what you can reach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're not into like an hour long groom then? Oh, God, no. <laughs> to be honest, I do do it every now and again. I will, especially in the winter. Oh, I'm all right. It's been good. Half hour, half hour minutes, even on a full, yeah, a full, full room. This is where you'll stop and go, I'm done. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Yes. I've done half the horse. <laughs> Manual, mine is this place. I mean, there might be a strip along her back, but it's just done. I've got a stick. No, it's fine. <laughs> I think I can reach. <laughs> I feel quite at home around them, but I think it's because Pep's is big. 
Yeah, and even she's though she's not that tall. Yeah, but she's chunky, isn't she? Yeah. So. so it's just like pets on stilts. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, that's the thing, it's weird to me because to me they're normal. Yeah. And like, some people are intimidated by their size, and I find that really like odd because this is like normal size to me. So who came into your life first then? Me. Golly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, her I've had uh, seven years next month. She's seven and a half now. And then, yeah, mate, I've had six years uh, this oh. month. So. What made you go to a five now? Or was it just like it was more that it was her rather than specific. I mean, I was looking for another shire. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not a massive fan of like Roni Clydes yeah. or ones with lots of white. That's just personal preference. Probably because of my lack of hate grooming, to be honest. I didn't want anything I had to be clean. So I've got one with one white leg. Um, <laughs> but no, she, my friend who bred Golly had her in for breaking. Okay. Um, and long story short, she ended up having her back on sales delivery. And yeah, I went to try her and was like, oh, well, you know, originally my plan was to just have her for a couple of years until Golly was old enough to back and then I was going to sell her. Yeah. Well, that, after a few weeks, I knew that, that wasn't happening. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she was never going anywhere. She's such a lovely man. And she was really nervy when I got her. She was like, I actually need on her all the time. She was so head shy. I couldn't touch her nose at all. Um, if she patted her, she jumped out of her skin, terrified. Um, yeah, she was just a little nervous, reckless, scared of her own shadow. And you've come a long way, haven't you, darling? Have a little looky at these feet. <laughs> to be fair, they don't look that much bigger than Peppers. <laughs> no, they're not that big, they're not that huge. Size of my hand. <laughs> oh, wow, look at all the dapples. Yeah. You are so pretty. I am a sucker for a bay mare now. I did not want a bay, did not want a mare. <laughs> I've always said, bay is my favorite color, and a black shire is my dream horse, so I'm absolutely living dream. Oh. Right, those. Look how shiny you are. That's not my grooming, guys. <laughs> She's just naturally very shiny. Oh, that is, that is partly your grooming. <laughs> it wasn't that clean. <laughs> oh. Do you yeah. like it? It's tropical. <laughs> yeah, it's nice actually. Yeah. I bet that'll look really nice on Golly. Yeah, there's a black thing. Yeah. Oh, that fits her really nicely. It does. So this is? This is the extra full from Mount Up Equestrian. And you have the matchy matchy leggings. And I have the leggings. <laughs> and in a minute, you'll see the base there as well. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the, We're going to do a switcheroo. The extra size, so it's longer in the spine and it's deeper. So it only looks like with the satin on top. And this is an 18 inch saddle. 18 inch, extra, extra wide. <laughs> and Golly and is an extra, extra, extra wide. Yeah. Sorry, darling, I shouldn't be sharing that information <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the oh, the pink stirrups as well. Love pink it. Stirrups. Oh, yes. <laughs> There we go, look. Loads of room out Oh, there. brilliant. Because normally you have it like there. That's the problem. Some full-size saddle pads are just too little. I have just had a little bit of a switcheroo and I've got this lovely mount-up base layer on. What do we guys think? I like the pattern. It actually goes really nicely with my hair. It does. I finally sorted my hair out, guys. Not that you can really tell because I've just shoved it up today. But speaking of Mount Up Equestrian, who have very kindly sponsored this video and helped to get us together and looking all matchy matchy. <laughs> we all know I love a bit of matchy matchy. But yeah, speaking of mounting up, how the hell do you get on a horse this big? Easy. We use the picnic table. Oh, hang on. I thought we were just using this for like storing our stuff. No, most people on the yard use the mountain block. I just use the table. <laughs> we'll show you how. I love that. Just making the most of the amenities that you've got. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> side by side. Ooh. Love it. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, we've we've taken away from the matchy matchy now. <laughs> the pink, the pink bridle is out. Hang on, we're having a moment though because it's all me bit twisty. Undone. That's very cute. I don't know why my bits undone on one side. Oh. <laughs> 
There we go. Could that have happened yesterday? No, 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 because we walked back down okay. And thankfully when I did fall off, she did just stop. Aw. We stood there looking at me like, what are you doing down there? <laughs> sure, I didn't mean for that to happen. Yeah. I'm just having a good time. Sorry, your job is to stay up there. <laughs> just reminded me of have you seen drop dead fred yeah like, looks just like her mother another little <laughs> mega beast <laughs> yeah. let's see this sorcery then <laughs> i mean they've seen better days to be fair She's like, are they edible? Oh, oh my goodness, that is a long way up. <laughs> ah, ta-da! Ta magic. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> See, I've had that Rice crispy thing and I'm fine now. <laughs> yeah. It's like I've come to life. Yeah. Back on it. <laughs> Yesterday, that was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Until oh, we're still giving it a wide berth, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case. Come on, sweet. How we a pet? <laughs> Hang on a sec. So you get the picnic table, and I'm expected to get on from that. <laughs> we'll see about that when I'm up there. I'll be like, oh, I can't get my leg up. <laughs> you have too much faith in me. <laughs> I'm not being filled with a lot of faith here. <laughs> you want me to get on your wild pony? <laughs> She's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, May. She doesn't look like she can be bothered at all. No. She's not the biggest fan of the school. No, well, neither's Peps. Do, um, she definitely prefers hacking. <laughs> she is on. Look at these matchy matchy girls. It's weird because she doesn't feel all that much taller than Pepper. No. She is a lot wider. <laughs> and that's saying something because Peps is wide. Sorry, I'm being very offensive to you, Pony. Are your, are your hips screaming at you? A little bit. <laughs> Welcome to my world. That's the thing, she's not actually that big. She is only 16 too. She's quite, because she's your more old fashioned working type than a modern show type. Maybe Golly would be a different story. Yeah. So yeah, Golly's the taller one, but. And look guys, she insisted on having the pink bridal to ride in. Absolutely. Good girl. She will also do a little bit of lateral work, so if you want to do some leg yielding and stuff. Okay. That would probably be good for her, actually. Yeah. And she does turn on the forehand and shoulder in and... Okay. They can all do it, guys. Absolutely. I hate when people say, my horse can't do dressage. I'm like, it can. She's done dressage. She came fifth at her first ever championship. Oh yeah, it is literally like sitting on an armchair, isn't it? She's all right until she starts jig jogging, hacking out, and then you're like, oh my god. <laughs> or it's when she's walking uphill, and because she's striding out where she's got such a big walk, it really swings your hips. Yeah. And I'm going like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Mummy's 
stop. No napping, my boy. Yeah. But when it comes to having your own for so many years and you sit on another one, it's like, I don't know how to ride. Yeah. But it's also, I think, not knowing, like, how much leg to use and you don't want to, like, you know, you don't know how horse sensitive the horse is, so you don't want to give it a massive boot and it leap in the air or, you know, it's really hard. And I think even worse, when you've got the owner watching, like, I'm not precious about my horses, but some people, and I, you know, you get a bit like, oh, am I doing it right? Am I... <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thanks. <laughs> well, no one can ride her worse than me, Christ. Good girl. She's much happier doing it on this rain. Yeah. Well, that was near enough a turn on the forehand. She's like, oh, I'm doing lateral work. I'm yeah. Like, She's quite funny because when we taught her turn on the forehand, it kind of became a bit of a problem with the um, halt because she then would halt and just start swinging her ass from side to yeah. side. <laughs> and when she was a baby and I taught her leg yield, literally every time I then put my leg on, she would just like shoot sideways. <laughs> Normally at speed. Until she learnt that like, you know, leg means different things. She's like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, May. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, Maisie. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's my saddle. It squeaks with me as well. I think I need to tighten one of the screws up. Right, shall we try another kicker? Go on, Maze. You try and get the walk really active and then yeah. she should just sort of... Come on, Mabel. She switched off because I rode. She's like, we're done now. Go on, Maze. <laughs> She's a cow. Like, what is this idiot doing? She's a cow. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Go on, go on, go on. And that's it, and just get her to a jog. That's it, now forward, now forward. There we go. Good girl, Maze. <laughs> How does that compare to Pepper's Trot? It's so much like longer. Yeah. <laughs> Maisie. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. No, that was a protest. Look at this square hort. <laughs> even I can never get the horse that square. Good girl. Yeah, try another turn on the forehand while well, you stood there nice and square. She does turn on the forehand better than mine does. <laughs> Shuffled backwards a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> you got to remember as well, she's a big horse, so she finds it harder to turn around than. Yeah. That's it, then they gild her out a bit. My left leg is atrocious. Oh, mine's the worst as well. That's why she's worse on that rain. <laughs> like, it might as well not be there. Yeah, so same. It's not doing Yeah. Just like all circles. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> there we go. She's a cow for falling out through her shoulders. I was just thinking that. Like, yeah. It's more neck bend than it is yeah. actually on the three lines. And the problem is because she's got such a massive neck, she just sets it against you and then you've got nothing.
it is. Not so much in here because she does struggle in here, but yeah. Really open up. Yeah. Especially, I mean, Christ, her flat out gallop on the beach, she did not shift. <laughs> she really does shift. Sorry, my annoying. So the woman doesn't know what she's doing. It's alright, she's used to that with me. <laughs> Mom, who is this crazy lady and why have you put her on me? That wasn't a very good attempt. No, apologize. that was her, not you. Yeah. I think I think it's because I've got that slightly thicker pad, so the longer girth. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'll show you my free walk. It's very <laughs> it's impressive. A very nice free walk. She's like, that's my best bit. <laughs> Sticking my nose on the floor. Good girl, Maisie. Do you want to tell the vlog a little bit about what you were just telling me? Yeah, this? so Maze had recently had a, a hox injected. Um, we, she, was, she wasn't lame as such, but she, we were having a few performance issues, so we had a workup and we found the start of arthritis in her hox. Um, she's had that done about four or five weeks ago. So we're only doing very light work with her at the minute. The vet's coming back out in a few weeks and we're going to look at possibly medicating her sacroiliac joint. Um, so she's still not 100% at the minute. So obviously Ray's going to have to come back and ride her again when she's, when she's tip top. Um, but yeah, we'd obviously, we didn't want to do it all at the same time because the vet wants to know what's working and what isn't kind of thing. Um, so she is better than she was. I mean, she wasn't bad before she had her hooks done. Um, but there is a, there is a marked improvement. Um, but she's still not quite 100%. So... Hopefully, when the vet comes back out, we can um, carry on and, yeah, get her totally sorted. But she's happy enough in herself, bless her. I'm not used to there being a mane. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, you haven't got anything to grab, have you? Yeah, you can imagine if Pets decides to go, it's like... Ah. Yeah, there's nothing there. <laughs> she's very sweet. She is. She's very, very honest. Yeah. Typical mare she is, bless her. Yeah. I think this is going to be a bit longer than what I'm used to. <laughs> oh God, I can just see me. If I don't bend my knees, I'm going to end up on my bum. Oh, we've got a big lorry coming in. We'll wait, shall we? We'll wait. Not that I think you're going anywhere. As you can see, she's really disturbed by the grab lorry. <laughs> I think I'm more disturbed than she is. Yeah. I'm more thinking of the noise for the vlog. You won't be able to hear it. <laughs> Ready? Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> 9 .5. <Yay>. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. You know what you get now? I may have bought you some stub muffins, May. Oh, yummy. She's like, I never get them. I must have been good. <laughs> Good girl. Bless Thanks her. Letting me ride her. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you for riding her so nicely. <laughs> well now. Yeah, now that we've said that. We've got pony number two. No? No. She's like, I'm number one, baby. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you were here first. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, she's yeah. slightly bigger. <laughs> we're just doing a little bit of in hand with Golly. So what's the story with Golly? So Golly, I have, as I said, I've had since she was six months old. She's now seven. She's also, unfortunately, had a few lameness issues two years ago, so last year. Um, she just started not want, again, she didn't look particularly lame, but didn't want to go forward under saddle. So we had the vet out, and unfortunately she had um, OC, well, not OCD, OC in both her start Feel sorry for me. You're gonna eat my microphone. Probably. <laughs> so, yeah, she had her thigh paws injected, and she had her um, shoes on the front, and she's now totally sound, happy. But we're just really taking it easy, and she's still doing the odd little bit of work, but mainly just doing groundwork and not riding and stuff. 
you're not supposed to eat the arena surface. <laughs> She's very weird, this one. <laughs> Aren't you? So, how rude. Thing. She'll walk over anything, under anything. Oh. Bold as brass, aren't you? And has been since the day she was born, really. There's a video of her at 12 hours old, wandering across the yard away from her mum. Oh. You know, feeding her. See ya. And then at a couple of months old, she crawled through the fence into the field next door and had a lovely time while her mum was going spare. <laughs> so you've always been quite independent, haven't you? Go on, back you go. Good girl. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> she says, I am a good girl. Well, we She's standing very nice and square there. It sounds funny, but we actually practice this quite a lot because with her, it's a big deal because she is such a busy, busy person in her head that to just stand and relax. I actually had a, a Reiki person come out um, and like talk to them, whether you believe in that or not. I'm, I'm still not 100% sure I do. Yeah. But the first thing she said was, Jesus Christ, it's busy in there. <laughs> she went, her brain goes at a million miles an hour. And I was like, yeah, that is exactly her. Like, she doesn't. I think if she was a, a human, she'd have ADHD. <laughs> like, because she's that sort of everything, you know. And yeah. I identify with that, because I think I'm probably undiagnosed. But yeah, she's always, her brain, it's like she can't switch her brain off. <laughs> so for her to just stand and relax is, is a good thing. Ah, oh, pretty girl. Oh, I'm loving the rainbow uh, head collar and lead rope, by the way. Yeah, the, as you can see, the horse has been used a bit more than the lead rope. It's a bit, <laughs> um, a bit faded. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I don't want to go this way. I don't want to. Are you trying to get a fly or not? No. She's, like, <laughs> she's like, nope, I'm just trying to avoid doing that. Yeah, so I'm trying to get out of work. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where's my sister? I love that. She bullies her, but then when she's not there, she's like, oh. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Ones with me, we'll just them. <laughs> I'm with mum. I'm the favourite child. Yeah. <laughs> so you do a lot of shows with the girls, like demonstrations and stuff, yeah, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Golly and I went to a demo show a couple of weeks ago. <coughs> so she was in a little electric fence pen in the middle of a very busy showground with steam engines and fun fairs and everything. And she wasn't bothered by any of it. And we also went in the main ring twice a day doing demos. And uh, yeah, again, her favourite bit was going around and seeing all the public and trying to eat my microphone while I was commentating. And it's all to uh, raise awareness about the heavy breeds, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, all to promote, particularly the, the Shire, obviously when we're going to do the demos. But yeah, we try and teach people a little bit about their history. And <laughs> she's, her friends are coming. <laughs> are they a bit of a rare breed now? They are. They're, both the Shire and the Clydesdale are on the rare breeds list. Um, the, sh the Shires are slightly better off than the Clydesdales. Um, the Suffolks are even rarer. Yeah. Um, they're the worst off. But yeah, so we <laughs> just try and basically put, and that's why I do, that's why I started my Instagram account mainly, was to promote them, particularly as ridden horses. Yeah. Um, because we need to find them a modern job in the modern world. You know, so many people just still think of them as plough horses or pulling a brewery dray or yeah. stuff like that. And there is so much more to them and they make fantastic riding horses. Um, and that's, to me, that's their job in the future. You know, yeah. That's how we're going to keep the breeds going. So, and they are fabulous breeds. You know, yes, they take a little bit more looking after than your average light horse. <laughs> but not masses, you know. 
They're, um, you know, they're pretty hardy. These two live out all year round. Yeah. So, well, he's off. <laughs> you know, the flies are bothering her, bless her. The flies are really bothering her. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. So, yeah, it was quite funny when we were doing the demo the other week. We got to the last demo, and because she's been cooped up in her, her pen all weekend, I'm standing in the ring saying, you know, Shire's got fantastic temperament, they're known for being <laughs> laid back, and this thing's bouncing next to me like bigger. Because <laughs> okay. I always say with her, she's like, 99% of the time she's like this, don't on a rope. 1% of the time, absolute psycho. <laughs> There's no in between. It's like a switch goes, and it, that's it. So, Multiple yeah. personality disorder. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> or schiz is it schizophrenia when oh, they've got... I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, mostly <laughs> a little time, bit of everything. Most of the time we get this though, which is good. Aww. Isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you love each other really. <laughs> Her little nose makes me laugh. That side. <laughs> well, you're pointing to that side, but you moved over to the other side, May. <laughs> Are you going to say bye to the vlog? <laughs> well, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, learning all about these lovely heavies oh, behind they're us. Off. They're off. Yep. Camera shy. Oh, and... <laughs> and yeah, thank you very much for having me and letting thank me ride. Fine. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been good fun. The girls are both brilliant. We've got some nice photos of them as well. Oh, it's been oh, yeah. good fun. And again, thank you to Mount Up as well for helping make this video possible. Yeah, and <laughs> for doing wonderful body inclusive, size inclusive stuff, not just for people, but for horses too. Definitely. <laughs> all right, guys, until the next one, I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.